You can't get me. What's up guys, it's the Dozen. We are back here on the Dozen Craft SMP server and today I got a special surprise for everybody. Well I guess it isn't much of a surprise since you can <laughs> since you can see in in the title of the video what the surprise is. I hate when people do that. YouTubers do that all the time. They're like, oh, we have a secret project today. What's it going to be? And then it says in the title of the video. you got to remember that, guys. Other YouTubers, you got to remember that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sitting here on my couch. I don't think I've ever sat on this couch before until now. Well, I guess it would make more sense if I sat, like, here. I guess that would make a little more sense. I like this couch. And I like my banners. Beautiful banners. So, that's right. Um, we are going to finally... Hello? Whoa, there's some server leg going on now. Um, we're going to start Dozaland today. None of the uh, none of the attractions, I don't think. I think we're, uh, we're just going to get the sign up, which might have been a little bit of a spoiler. Maybe not, I don't know. But <clears throat> I have a sign design that I made on the creative server. And I'm just preparing for that uh, right now. So this is going to take me a couple days to, to build. But luckily it's going to be in one video for you guys. And uh, just, just, to, just to reference or uh, gauge how long this takes, let's, let's take a look at Town Hall really quick. Necro is actually online right now doing great things over here at the Town Hall. And you can see he's got some d some uh, whoa some dome action going on. I don't know why that. <laughs> I tried to say dome and it came out of my mouth all funky. <clears throat> I've been sick. And it's like a couple days after Thanksgiving and I'm still recovering from all the food and the family and all the craziness. Uh, so we'll see how this looks at the end of this video. There'll probably be some more progress done on it. But that place is looking amazing. So uh, as far as resources go, it's a uh, it's pretty expensive. Um, I mentioned in a couple videos, you know, I've been over at Necro's place lately, over at his gold farm, collecting gold blocks. And I haven't mentioned what those gold blocks would be for, but now that we're here, I can tell you it's for the Dozeland sign. And uh, I got, I think this right here, this stack that plus the 46, I think this is from his place, or most of this is from his place. Um, and also been, I've been mining quite a bit lately, I've mentioned. So I got a bunch more emerald ore, got a bunch of diamond ore. I'm going to wait till I have about a stack of diamond ore before I fortune three that. Speaking of fortune three, I should probably put that away that I'm done with that. Um, and also what I need for this project is a lot of, uh, well, lapis and redstone. So I took all the redstone ore that I had. I had about three rows filled. I think, maybe more, and I uh, fortune threed all that, so I have all these redstone blocks, going to use a lot of these, also need a lot of glass, um, pumpkins, um, it, it's going to look really good, I'm really, really excited about that, so what I've been doing, and I just want to check up on you guys, I just want to get a little update before we get on with the video, like I said, it's going to take a couple days for me, so it'll be a couple days recording, but uh, the video you watched yesterday is all queued up, and that'll keep you guys busy and keep you guys entertained while I'm sitting here doing this. And this is what I've been doing. i got a bunch of snowballs here, and I'm, I'm going to do it live right now. So I, you got to kind of squeeze in here to push this guy in the corner so you don't hit him on accident. And I have a wireless mouse that takes batteries. So what I'm doing now is I hold down the right click or the left click, and then I click off on my controller. And there we go. I'm hands-free now. And I just sit here and do this. And uh, it's great fun. I may set up some hoppers or something so it collects a little faster. But this is a really, really simple way to AFK and uh, collect snowballs. Let me turn my mouse back on. There we go. So I think I could put hoppers here and here probably. I don't think I could put a hopper directly underneath him because I don't think that they can lay snow on top of a hopper. Um, so I may do that. So I'm going to get to work um, in the next scene. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll have all of our resources together. Uh, for for what we need to build this sign and what we need a lot of I mean we need a lot of gold and a lot of lapis and stuff for the sign itself and glass and stuff and a lot of stone brick um, <clears throat> but right now I need a whole lot of snow and I want to get 
I'm not sure exactly how much I need, but I'm pretty sure probably, I mean, I'm probably going to bring over like six to eight stacks. And uh, that should be enough. If we need more, I could probably come back and get more. I could go to the creative server where I built the sign already and count every single block, but I mean, I, I'm, I'm never afraid to uh, overestimate on resources because I'd rather have too much than too little, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to get on that and I will see you guys in just a second. So I'm out here at one of these villages I found, and I have TNT, and I'm going to blow the entire place up. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Um, but I just wanted to record something here, and I discovered it uh, the night the night before, uh, the in-game night before. It just turned nighttime again, so I want to try it again, because I really want you guys to see... Um, See how this works? It's a really cool thing that uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure many people know about. And I think I'm, I'm going to stick near this village too, so at least the zombies won't come get me. I've been doing some mining over here. That's why I have a bunch of stuff on me, but I want to show you this. Oh, it's so nice having fire aspect on this sword now. Burn everything. I can shoot. A, I, can, I can aim. I have good aim, I promise. Alright, I need to find a creeper. This is a really cool trick with creepers that I learned. I don't think many people know about it. Uh, it it works the same with reed, uh, sugar cane, and also vines, I'm pretty sure. Because I've noticed it with them too, but okay, I want to show this to you guys. So here's a creeper here. I don't know how well you guys can see. I know it gets really sketchy on YouTube. Uh, okay, so I got a creeper. Come follow me, creeper. We need to find the proper thing. Okay, wait, I can I can make the proper thing. Oh, right here. So if I get this creeper's attention and I stand in this too tall grass here, he won't see me. See that? He's looking at me, but he don't see me. Now if I step out, he sees me. He starts chasing me again. And I'm surprised he didn't try to blow up right there, but watch. I'll run back in the grass. I'm in the too tall grass. He doesn't want no part of me. What's wrong, buddy? Watch, I'll step out and make him sizzle. Hello? Do you see me? Oh, oh can I get back in? Oh, I can get back in. I'm out. I'm in. <laughs> I'm out. I'm in. You can't get me. So that's pretty interesting. So some people don't like this too tall grass. But I mean, really, if you just fill your whole front yard with this stuff, creepers will never blow up. Because they can't see you. That is amazing. Hello. So theoretically, then, this should probably work with any mobs, right? I mean, I would think so. It's, I mean, it's not just creepers. I'm saying it could probably work with any mob. So let's start out small. Let's just, let's do a couple zombies, all right? Oh, uh-oh, that's not good. Let's, let's try, okay, let's get inside a fresh one. All right, can you see me? Can you see? Oh, they can't. Oh, skeleton too. Skeleton can't see me either. That's interesting. That is interesting. Now, now I'm wondering... What if, I mean, this, this is this is ambitious, and might probably won't happen, but what if we went to the end, we replaced all the end stone with grass, and planted some too tall grass everywhere? Would that, I mean, that'd work, right? Well, I mean, the ender dragon destroys everything, though, so that's kind of a problem. But what about, like, a wither boss? Did I say Wither Boss the first time? I meant Ender Dragon. But what about a Wither Boss? Would that work with a Wither Boss? I mean, you, you, can, you can kill him just with arrows. Uh, you don't really have to melee him. Okay, I'm just saying, because if you melee, it'll start breaking the grass and stuff. But you could just uh, shoot him with a bow to death. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. And I hope you guys too. That is a really cool trick. It, it, and it, it's kind of a rush, too. Like, uh... It's a rush waiting for a... I think I chose a creeper just because it was extra scary. But it, it's it's a rush. If you're out in the middle, it's dark out here, and you're running around, and there's a freaking creeper chasing you. Oh, oh, get some leg. And uh, <laughs> find some tall... I can't find any tall grass now. I want to find a witch and do it with a witch. But that's cool. What do you guys think about that? I, I, I'm, I'm ranting on it too much now. I didn't want to talk this much about it. I'm going to try it. An Enderman. Enderman! Enderman, look at me! Did you, oh yeah, he looked, he looked. You see me? 
Oh no, he saw me. Oh, he saw me. He so saw me. Let's find a different one. Let's find a different piece of grass to hide into. To hide inside. Here's one. Hide inside this one. Oh, he, no, he sees me. I think because he's three blocks tall, maybe? So maybe it only works with other two tall mobs. I don't know. Stupid creepers. Um, okay, hi. So it has been uh, a few days, and I don't remember if I said I was going to build this thing on camera. I might have. You guys know, because you guys just saw the intro to this thing. I don't know if I said I'd build it on camera, but I didn't. Uh, I built it off camera. I did it in one night. It took me a couple hours to build. Uh, it's a lot harder to build in survival than it was in, uh, in creative mode, I'll tell you that much. And I was also hoping to have everybody um, from the server to hop online. That's right, Runaway. I love that new mechanic. Look at these mobs run away from dogs. <laughs> I need to name these dogs, too. I need to get name tags first. Um, but I was hoping for everybody to be online when I do this reveal. Because um, I haven't told anybody what it is. Uh, I've just told everybody that there's a big community reveal that I want to do. And I think this is like the fourth or fifth day that I've asked, can people get online, please? Can we meet up? Can we do this? And I understand. It, it's, it's, you know, it's December right now. Um, and it's, you know, Thanksgiving just got over with. Now we're going into December, Christmas, and all that stuff. So people are busy. I understand. Um... So, unfortunately, people couldn't hop online. McLovin's online right now, but he's AFK at his uh, pigment farm. So, I'll just do it like this. I I'll do it the way I know how. Um, and I'll, I'll do it in a video. So, hopefully, you guys are watching. This is a very exciting moment, guys. We finally have Doza Land happening. And uh, <laughs> it's a little... I don't know. I I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that people weren't able to hop online. I wanted to have Soy hop online or, you know, Jack, you know, other people who could record and kind of spread the love around and spread this moment. So this is, is not going to exactly work out how I hoped it would, but I really need to get this video out here. I really need to get this out because I have other footage I need to, you know, release and I'm sick of waiting, frankly. What's wrong with this chest? That looks funky. So this is how it was going to go. Uh... As far as people knew, this is my area out here that I found and decided to build my basin. Well, I changed my mind. I changed my mind and I decided that I want this place out here to be Doza Land because we've wanted to have Doza Land for a while and I uh, haven't really figured out a good place to have it. I kind of wanted to put it uh, near spawn so it could be within walking distance of spawn. That would have been cool. But there's not many places around spawn for that. So this is how it was going to work out. I have this little trail I built here. With coarse dirt and some slabs. And it comes out this way. A little bit dangerous around here. Probably decorate this a little bit more. Also this big round area over here that I cleared out. I think I'm going to build like a big portal room. Some, something cool in here for the portal. And then you walk through this forest here. And walking through this forest, it reminds me of... Uh, I mean, what was it? Back in 1993, 1994... I went to Disneyland when I was like five years old, and uh, it's back when uh, E.T., the movie E.T. was popular, and they had like an interactive uh, thing where you like experience the E.T. movie kind of, and uh, I hear you, and what happened was like, first you walk through this forest, of course it's like a studio, but you walk through this forest, and like the, the leaves are rustling and stuff. That's what this trail kind of reminds me of. And I'm also probably going to take some leaves and place them around here, like low on the ground like this, like there's bushes all around and stuff. I think that'd be kind of cool. Let me take these dogs back really quick. Just we got plenty of time on this video. Come on, guys. Come back over here. These dogs are really horrible at following, by the way. Like, if I sprint ten blocks away, they'll completely lose me. But they're great for mobs. I like that the mobs run, run away from them now. They don't die as easily anymore. Let's put all this stuff away. Got so much stuff on me. I'm doing a lot of branch mining out here. That's something else I gotta show you. Actually, oh, that th that already went up. That video already went up. That branch mine I made over here. But I had to avoid this area completely so it didn't ruin anything. All right, so then we come up to through this trail. Come, got this bridge over here. Comes through, and this where the great reveal was going to be. 
Dun, 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 dun. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> lights aren't on. Hold on. Let me turn on these lights really quick. All right. Come over here. Don't shoot me. Turn the lights. A little bit of lag, because it's a lot of redstone happening all at once. I didn't make a way out. Uh, I just realized that. Whoops. Got to do that. Okay, lights are on. Let's fight off some mobs. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, this great reveal isn't working out. Oh, man. Okay. So let, let's take a look at this reveal real quick, and i got to pause the video because somebody is knock, knock, knocking at my door. So here it is. The great sign. Welcome to Doza Land. Oh, if I can get a screenshot. Screenshot. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, i got to pause the video really quick, like. Okay, we're back. Somebody was knocking at my door. This is why I don't like recording during the day. But I have better commentary when I'm recording during the day. So here we go. Doza Land. How does it look, guys? How does this look? I, I, I mean, I built this in creative first. That's why it looks so good. Uh, lots of color. I wanted to... Uh, incorporate as many blocks as I could. I got a ton of gold and lapis in there. That's all the gold blocks I was talking about. That's why I spent so much time at Necro's place. Because I needed a lot of gold. Um, and I did, in fact, overestimate uh, the amount of gold that I needed. I think it was it was probably only about maybe a little over a stack. If that, I'm not really even sure how much it was. I know it wasn't too terribly much. Lots of redstone blocks. Um, of course, we were collecting that snow. Uh, but yeah, I did this all in creative first over on the creative server. But I did it in parts. Like, I did one of these towers, and then I did the sign part. I, I didn't do it... Uh, I didn't build it completely like this, so I wasn't sure how, how tall I wanted to have it. I wasn't sure how well it would fit um, with itself. Uh, actually, let me hop over, to, hop over to the creative server really quick, and I'll show you what I did over there. Okay, here we are on the creative server, and here's the obsidian generator that I made. Um, but here's the sign. This is right where I built the sign, and right here, <laughs> actually, okay, so these are all three wide. This one is four wide, so I messed this up right when I built it, so I had to uh, do it correctly. So the measurements were kind of off a little bit. Um, here, here they were off, but once I built it on the other server, they were fine. God, those slimes are annoying. So this is what I did here, and I'll show you inside. I could probably show you a little easier on uh, this on the creative server than I could over there. There's a bat inside there. Uh, but the reason this is so wide like this, um, and it looks it looks good, um, and it, these are turned sideways as well. Like uh, the sign is actually facing this way, but the door goes right here, as you saw in the other one. Um, but the reason it's so long is because I needed to make the wiring go up like this. It's, it's exactly the same on the other server. Uh, so the wiring goes up with these slabs like this, then I had to extend it every once in a while, so that's why it goes way out to the side like that. And I wanted to make sure there was like two blocks of space inside to walk in. So it goes all the way up and uh, turns on all of these, these lights, and then it also uh, goes into the back of this. Whoa, there's some leg going on. Goes into the back of this, which is all the wiring for the lights. Now this is pretty much the same on the other one. I'll, I'll hop up. I'll hop up inside the sign um, on the actual server and show you a couple things have changed. I just I tried to compact a little bit more, but basically it all lights up like this. And I needed to do pistons with redstone blocks to be able to light up um, the lights on this side. These lights here that are covered by the trap doors. Because if I just put a straight... God, those slimes. If I just put a straight line of redstone to these blocks, it would also <coughs> it would also activate those. Well, my throat just like closed up for a second. So let's hit this button real quick. Everything turns off. And uh, if I had turned it on with just the straight line of redstone to it, it would have like started flipping out on those trap doors. Back up. Get away from me, zombie. Uh, so I had to sleep really quick because I wanted to... I wanted you guys to see this in the daylight. Uh, so here it is in the daylight in all of its glory. And I think the positioning of it's pretty good. Um, I feel like... Did I already mention? I think... Yeah, I already mentioned. Over there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build like a, uh, like a hub. Like a portal room kind of thing for when we first come in here. And then you come out, and this is the first thing you see is the big old sign. I love it. I love it. I turned off um, the redstone to it. Uh, because I, I think it was causing a little bit of leg. Now here's some lava. 
I don't think I've been playing with my sound on because I didn't know there was lava underneath here. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I can definitely hear lava underneath here. I might have to incorporate that, build another bridge or something. Um, but thinking about going through and just placing a lever on uh, on all of these uh, redstone lamps in here because I think the actual redstone the redstone works might be causing some lag. So it starts from here. Um, this side goes down underground and goes over to here. I need to put <laughs> I need to put more buttons on there so I can actually get in and out of this place. And uh, it goes underground over to here. Then this goes up and lights up the rest of this tower. And that's as high as it goes. It just goes up this tower to light the uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 16 lamps that are on this tower. This tower lights up those lamps. Uh, and also... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So it's, it's underneath here. I put these slabs over the whole place just to make sure that no mobs can spawn on here. Because I'm pretty sure mobs can spawn on blocks that have redstone on them. A little dark in here, so you gotta excuse me just for a second while I climb up this ladder. And I have a new computer chair and it's super squeaky. And I've also been, I just realized for the past 10 minutes or so I've been recording this video with the TV on, so I'm sorry if you could hear the TV. So this is all of the redstone wiring in here. Let me throw some lights in here. Everything is slabbed off so it can be dark. And uh, no mobs will spawn, of course, like I just said. Slabbed off everything, so this is what the inside looks like. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing I showed you over there. Uh, a little bit more compact of wiring. Over all the wiring, I put uh, some uh, some stone brick slabs. So it it kind of looks kind of confusing, but uh, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, <laughs> if you know, if you know redstone, it, it probably makes sense. But to me, after I put the slabs over, it made it look a little more confusing. So that's cool. Great news. Let me take all these lights. I want to hop outside and just kind of explain why I decided to change this area from being uh, my own personal place to changing it to be Dozaland. Let's, let's get out of here the hard way. There we go. And fall. Eh. Nope, couldn't make it to the water. I almost died there too. That would have been that would have been bad. So here's the back side. Um, it's blank. I might put some on the back side, like come back <laughs> or. Uh, come again, but if I did come again, it'd have to be A-G-I-N, because it'd have to be the same amount of letters as Dozaland, which is eight letters. Uh, so I might do something on the back, might just leave it blank. I'm trying to decide if I want to put walls around here as well, to kind of like fence in the whole area. But uh, when I first found this area, I knew I liked it. I was like, oh, it's big, it's open, it looks cool. I feel like something could be built here, but I didn't really know what could be built here, or what I could build here. So that way, there's there's uh, one village that way, there's one village that way. And uh, I had to tear out a bunch of these hoppers to build the thing over there. But uh, actually what gave me the first clue was when I found this ravine here. And I was like, you know, it'd be really cool to make a roller coaster go through here. So I'm going to build a roller coaster for Doza Land. I think it's going to incorporate this ravine here, and like go through it, and like up and around, and who knows what else. But uh, it's it's in between, it's in like a canyon, there's like mountains over here, mountains over here. What's my render distance on? Let's turn it up to 10. Um, so we see a little bit further. But you can see there's mountains here and there, and it, the canyon continues that way. And it just feels like a cool area to build in. And it's not incredibly huge, but uh, it, it'll be compact enough. Once buildings start getting made in here... It'll start looking a lot better. And of course, we don't have to stick to just this area. This is a ton of area for a ton of builds and mini games and stuff. And uh, I want it to be kind of close together. Like, um, of course, the name for it comes uh, is inspired by uh, Goodland, which they had on the Minecraft server. And the first Goodland, and even the one they have now, I think, everything is spread out really far. And it's cool and all, but... I want things to be a little bit closer together, because if you walk through a carnival, things are kind of like right next to each other. It's one thing, it's just like kind of overwhelming, and it's claustrophobic a little bit, but in a good way. So I kind of want that to be the situation here. I'm going to take out all this stuff, and yeah, so this is where Dozeland's going to be. I, I can't talk very much, because I know this video is reaching its limit, but this is just what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Uh, 
to reveal this to you guys. And of course down here we have the zombie spawner that I found. And this is another reason why I decided to make this place Dozaland. It's because this zombie spawner is close to the surface and I want to make some kind of like zombie arena out of it or something. It's a little bit a little bit close to the gate, but I could I could build it right over here somewhere. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this. I know some people, uh, not a lot of people have been around to play, just because they're kind of running out of ideas, because, you know, they've built their base, they've done the things that they do, and I, me personally, I got, I got ideas for days. I can keep building and building and building. All I gotta do is see new land, and all of a sudden, dozens of ideas come to mind, and I, I just have endless ideas for builds on Minecraft, but some people don't, and I'm not judging them because of that, <laughs> but uh, they said... A couple people have said if Dozaland gets built, they have some ideas to build some mini games for Dozaland. That's something that'll keep them busy. So, it's open. It's open. Claim your spot. Find your spot. Uh, the only place I ask for people not to build is over by this ravine over here, and over kind of on this side of this little pond because this is where the zombie spawner is. And I want to build something there. So this place is open. If you guys have ideas, talking to the people who play on the server. If you, if you have ideas for mini games, of course we need a spleef arena, uh, maybe a paintball course, you know, just Minecraft mini games, all kinds of stuff. Let's 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 build it. And really quick, I just want to point this out also. Did a little bit more decorating in here. Um, I need to put an Ender Pearl elevator right here, and uh, we'll get into that sometime. This thing's working great. Got it fixed. Uh, there was something wrong. If you if you open these disp these dispensers and put lava buckets in here directly something happens where it'll start emptying everything out so if you put lava buckets in here you have to put them in via the chests so this works great also want to hop down still decorating it's decorating here I want to hop down into these mines and show you what I've done down here got this place all decorated out not positive if I like it or how much I like it uh, I kinda want to take out these middle sections here and uh, put some glowstone in there, and maybe put some glowstone like here and here, uh, just for lighting, because it'll hang down a half a half block like these logs are doing. I think that looked, I like how that looks when you put lamps like that. Um, so I hope this video wasn't too sloppy. I feel like it was. Uh, it, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't come out how I wanted it to. I, I wish the plan was to have the community hop online with me, have Soyon, Jack on, Grutz. You know, McLovin's on with me, but he's been busy. Uh, Detroit Tigers hopped on earlier, but he said he was he he said he was going to join up if more people joined, and nobody did. Kind of a bummer. Uh, this is the Dozacraft SMP server, but it might as well be the SSP server. Which is another thing. I've had people ask me why is it called the SMP server. It's because SMP stands for Survival Multiplayer. In case you didn't know, now you know. Uh. So yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today. I'm excited to get this started. Uh, in the meantime, while I've been waiting to record this video, I actually recorded a couple more videos. So the next couple videos that will be going up, or the next, I guess it's only one video, um, is is not going to be related to this. It's uh, me doing a couple other things. But uh, over the next you know week or so, we're definitely going to get back over here. Um, there are some things I want to build here and some games and stuff. Hopefully I can get on the server with uh, Grutz or Jack. Or uh, There's been a few people who have had ideas for those lands. So hopefully I can get on with them and we can do some collabs and I can help them build some mini games. And we can decorate around here. Got to build some more paths and stuff. And speaking of paths, we're also going to uh, we're gonna build games and then put down the paths afterwards. I don't, I don't like doing the plot thing. I don't like setting out paths and setting out plots where people can build. I like it being kind of random. I love how that looks. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are as, as excited about Dozeland as I am. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Oh, perfect background. Oh, where is it? Perfect. There it is. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Peace the fuck out.